Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a February monthly favorites video. In this video, I will let you know what type of products were my favorite, things that I've been using a lot, reaching for a lot, and loving this month. And I cannot believe that we are almost through February. It has been a very long year for me. <laughs> We're only two months in. It will probably end up being a very long year for me in general, so that is fine. I'm up for it. You may see a little bit of a change in my posting schedule for videos. I'm going on vacation and I completely blanked on pre-filming, so there may be only two videos the next week or maybe two. So just kind of keep with me, bear with me. I will hopefully have some good content out for you. So without further ado, let's get on to the favorites. So the first two things I kind of want to shout out are from my BoxyCharm. I love getting BoxyCharm. I do end up putting something from my BoxyCharm in my monthly favorites, and this month I have two. The first is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I have heard a lot of people say that they don't like this, but I think that it kind of really fluffs up my lashes, makes them look thick, but not clumpy. And it also is like really black, so, but not like blue black either. It's a really nice black color and it coats your lashes really nicely. And I just feel like this has been so nice. Usually I use like multiple mascaras and I've only been using just this one and I think that my lashes look really nice, especially when I'm doing a more natural look. Really like it. The next product is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. Uh, we got this in our BoxyCharm and I actually like freaking love this. I love the way that it feels on my skin. It makes it really smooth and kind of plump and it does fill in my pores. I do kind of feel like I need a little bit of something for oil, so I do tend to use like two different primers when I use this, but otherwise I really like how it fills in my pores and smooths out my skin. So nice. And I'm pretty sure this is really inexpensive too, so that's great. The other product is something I've had in my drawer for a while and I pulled it out for my products I haven't used in a while video and it is the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. Now, this d will give you a white cast if you bake with it. So what I've been kind of doing is just setting my under eyes with like a brush like this instead of using my Beauty Blender to bake under my eyes. I've just been kind of loving this combo. I love it for when I'm doing a more natural look with just like concealer, just setting my concealer with this powder. I think it is great. And I also love it for a full face. I am wearing it right now to set my face and I didn't use any other powders. And I've just been kind of finding that my skin is a hair bit drier in the winter time and because I'm used to absorbing the oil in my t-zone a lot with you know more combo to oily skin products I'm finding that I don't need as much powder and that it is making me crease more under my eyes especially are very dry so what just kind of using a little bit and tapping it off and putting it under my eyes and in my t-zone has been enough for me lately in this dry weather and I'm into it the next thing I have been using quite a bit since I got it, and it is the uh, Casey Holmes collaboration. I did put it in a Z palette from Sephora, but this is the blush, highlight, bronzer, and eyeshadows from the collection. So uh, I really, really loved the eyeshadows when I used them, but that's I mean, I just love the collection in general. I love having eyeshadows and blush and bronzer and highlight in one palette. I think this is really nice. These are very soft shadows though. I mean, like literally it's just like so soft. You can like push your skin into it. They're very, very buttery soft. Not powdery, but they do have kickback to them because they're so soft. And therefore, I don't think I would travel with these even if they were in their normal box um, just because of that. And 
Um, I think they blend nicely. I think the pigment is really great and I think the color shades are excellent. I've been loving the blush and I think it looks really natural and it does have a little bit of a glow, like shimmery kind of effect in the blush and I think that is just so pretty. The next item is lashes. I have been just super reaching for Lily lashes lately. I did buy some for Black Friday when they were on sale and so I've been testing out a lot of different styles. Right now I have on the Miami and then I've also purchased and used the Mykonos the last couple looks, especially like with my smoky eyes or like a one color type of situation. The uh, Mykonos are really nice. They're really thick and full from the inner to outer. Uh, as opposed to like these ones are kind of like you can see the eyeshadow underneath. They're not too big. They're big and dramatic and fluffy and flirty, but they're not like too much where you can't even see your eyeshadow underneath. So I really like these Lily Lashes. If you are into, you know, spending a lot on your eyelashes, these are like $20 lashes. So like, let's be real. I got them on sale. They were like more than 50% off for shipping. So that's really nice if you can find them on sale. Um, but you do need to be like really careful with them. I've had part of the band kind of come off on a couple pairs and they're still wearable. Like you can still use them, but it kind of ruins the integrity and you do have some lashes come out because of the band coming off. So that's a little weird. I have had that happen on some of my lashes that are thicker. I'm just a little bit more rough and I need to be more gentle and I'm learning and it sucks that I'm kind of learning on these expensive lashes, but I just think that they are so pretty and so I am learning to be a lot more gentle with my lashes. So again, if you are willing to pay the price for them, they are worth it. So the last product is a lip liner. I have been just reaching for this color. I absolutely love it. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Malibu. I think I got this as like a single. I'm almost out of it, but I have been using it like every time I do my makeup. I think it is such a great like skin tone color, just like a great nude color. And um, I think that these lip liners are so creamy. They're very easy to sharpen. They last a while. Um, I have lipstick come off and my lip liner is still on and it is because I use these and these are so nice. They are a little bit more on the pricey end, but I don't think that they're really that bad considering how long they last. And they are so incredibly creamy, like seriously. I have not had a creamier lip liner that lasts so long. So I do highly suggest these. Again, if you're willing to pay the price point, they are worth it. All right guys, so that was a very quick little favorites video. Those are mostly the products that I have tried that are new this month, that are really standing out to me, that I have reached for almost every time I did my makeup this t this month. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.